The Cyclops were giant beings with immense strength, each possessing a single eye. There were three original Cyclops, Arges, Steropes and Brontes. These were blacksmiths and were sons of Uranus and Gaia and brothers of the Titans and Hecatonchires. Cronos had imprisoned them, but they were later freed by Zeus, for whom they made his iconic thunderbolt in gratitude. However, later tales portrayed Cyclops as a dim-witted and violent race of one-eyed shepherds living in caves on the island of Sicily. The most well-known among them was Polyphemus, who fell in love with Galatea and was blinded by Odysseus. The word Cyclops is said to have originated from either round-eyed or sheep thief. It's possible that the name itself may have shaped the perception of the Cyclops over time. Two distinct types of Cyclops are present in ancient Greek mythology. According to Hesiod, there were three giant divine blacksmiths, sons of Uranus and Gaia, and residents of Olympus. Meanwhile, in Homer's tales, they were portrayed as violent, enormous shepherds associated with Poseidon and living among humans. Hesiod mentions three Cyclops, Arges, Steropes and Brontes. These were the first gods to exist after the Titans and before the Hecatonchires. They were born from Uranus and Gaia. Descriptions suggest that the divine Cyclops were giant beings with immense strength and a single eye in the middle of their forehead. They were skilled in metalwork and craftsmanship and eventually became the workers of Hephaestus, who had his workshop in the volcanic mountain of Etna. Kronos, the youngest Titan, overthrew his father Uranus at the encouragement of his mother Gaia and became the supreme ruler of the gods. Fearing the power of his brothers, he imprisoned the Cyclops and Hecatonchires in Tartarus and assigned the dragoness Campe to guard them for eternity. He even went as far as to try and eat each of his children as soon as they were born out of fear. However, the Cyclops and Hecatonchires were eventually freed from Tartarus by Zeus, who was the only one of Cronus's children not to be devoured. Gaia advised Zeus to do so, stating that he wouldn't be able to defeat Kronos without their help. The Cyclops played a significant role in the Titanomachy, as Gaia had predicted, supporting Zeus and his allies. They not only sided with Zeus, but also crafted his powerful thunderbolt, Poseidon's trident and Hades' helmet of invisibility. With these weapons, Zeus and his team emerged victorious, banishing the Titans to Tartarus forever. With Zeus now in control, the Cyclops could fully pursue their passions and chosen line of work. They worked in the forges of the divine blacksmith Hephaestus, located beneath Mount Etna in Sicily, and crafted Zeus's thunderbolts and equipment for other gods, such as Athena's armor and Ares' chariot. The Cyclops were also credited with constructing numerous impressive structures across Greece and Italy, including the mighty walls of Tiryns and the Lion Gate at Mycenae. The fates of the three original Cyclops from Hesiod's mythology met a violent end at the hands of the gods. Hermes killed Arges while protecting Io from Zeus, and Apollo took revenge for the death of his son Asclepius by killing Steropes and Brontes. Though the Cyclops had nothing to do with Asclepius' death, they were blamed as they were the ones who had crafted the thunderbolt used by Zeus. In contrast, Homer's version of the Cyclops were portrayed as uncivilized and savage beings living on the island of Sicily. Polyphemus, one of the most well-known of the race, was the son of Poseidon and Thusa. Unlike the blacksmiths of Hesiod's mythology, these Cyclops were known for their brutal behavior and were depicted as violent cannibals. They lived in caves on mountains, with each family being independent of one another and had no regard for their neighbors or the gods. Odysseus and his crew were stranded on the island of Cyclops, home to the man-eating monster Polyphemus as described in Homer's Odyssey. Polyphemus had previously been in love with the nymph Galatea, but she rejected him for the handsome Achis. Polyphemus, in his rage, killed Achis, and the stream that flowed from his blood still bears his name. Trapped in Polyphemus's cave, Odysseus and his sailors found themselves in danger. To escape, Odysseus intoxicated Polyphemus, and poked his eye with a wooden stake. He then instructed his crew to hide under the bellies of Polymephus' sheep and was able to smuggle them out of the cave. This act earned Odysseus the wrath of Polyphemus' father, Poseidon, who kept Odysseus from his home and wife, Penelope, for a decade. And so, our journey through the world of the Cyclops comes to an end. I hope you learned something new about these fascinating creatures and gained a deeper appreciation for the rich myths and legends of ancient Greece. 
A special thanks to all of you who watched this video. Your support means the world to me. Yours truly, Mythos, the Historian.